As you can see, back in the running gear, um, up nice and early this morning. It's actually still pitch black outside, which isn't actually a good thing because Lids and I are just about to go out on a run and neither of us have head torches. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a dark one to start, but I'm sure by the time we're halfway around, the sun will be rising, which will be a very pleasurable experience. Yesterday, we basically had a duvet day, which was something that we've not done in absolutely ages. Like, I don't even think we've had one this year. And we caught up on the crown. We managed to get all the way to the very end, or at least to where they're up to so far in season four. We found out that they're not filming again until July 2021. So it's gonna be a very, very long time until the crown returns for season five. But yeah, we're up to speed with that now. We must have watched about, I don't know, like six episodes or something on Sunday. And then we got a takeaway. So. Yeah, it was a much needed day. Both of us, um, we thoroughly enjoy just staying in bed and chilling. So I'm feeling quite refreshed today, which is a great way to start the week. I'm gonna try and get out as well on the golf course at some stage, because as you know, we're allowed to go back out and play golf again. And so I wanna try and take that opportunity, get out a little bit. But of course, uh, I've got a busy morning doing some work, so I need to uh, get cracking with that. So we're up nice and early. Hopefully we'll be back from our run at a reasonable hour. And then uh, we'll be able to get ready for the day ahead of everybody else arriving because the building work is continuing and uh, they're working very hard at getting the porch, the greenhouse, the walls, the office study and everything finished. So yeah, probably gonna be a very busy day today. So we're gonna have to make sure that everybody's on top form. But anyway, we're gonna go for the run now. Hopefully I'll get some uh, nice shots of the sunrise and we'll see. It was very, very foggy yesterday, so it may be the same again today. And we didn't get the snow uh, that some of the UK got over the weekend, back end of last week. So yeah, anyway, I'm rambling, let's go. <laughs> Liz has just informed me that it's minus one degrees. Very foggy as well today. But what a lovely way to start the day. Beautiful views. Little run update. I think that uh, we're gonna get no sunrise today. I don't think it's dark because of the time. I think it's dark because it's so foggy. It's never been this dark at this time. But anyway, we're getting through it. I'm tingling because it's so cold. My blood's heating up my body. My skin's tingling. Horrible feeling that is, but yeah, we're pushing through. Come on. Ooh. So babe, would you like to summarize the run? Uh, fresh. Mm -hmm. Uh, dark. Very dark. Um, but feels good. Abnormally dark. It, well, I don't, I think it's because, look, there's like obviously really thick cloud. Yeah, fog as well. Uh, no, 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 the cloud will be oh. really thick, so there's like no, next to no light coming through. Mm, shower. Yeah. Good afternoon. Well, it looks like I've not got out my running gear from this morning, but I promise you I have. It's actually a different beanie, to be fair as well. Um, I'm not wearing my sweaty running one from earlier. Um, <laughs> I've managed to get out and uh, persuade one of my friends to come and play golf with me today. Oh gosh, sorry about that. I'm gonna have to um, get out quite quickly today because we probably have only got about three and a half hours of sunlight left and it's really foggy which means that the clouds are low. So the chances of us even getting light that late in the day is slim. So we're probably not gonna get a full 18 in. We're probably only gonna get about 10 to 15 holes in if we're quick. So we'll see how we're going. But my friend that I'm playing with today is currently running late, so good start. <laughs> I'm gonna get onto the driving range now anyway, get some practice in ahead of what should be a lovely afternoon of golf. It's very cold, I think it's about one degrees today, so I'm wrapped up, hence why I still look like I'm in my running gear, um, because it is freezing. But yeah, I'm gonna put my camera down, get busy, get practicing, and hopefully today, I'm gonna take the win. Here we go, put this miserable song on repeat Cause you seem to forget how much you are hurting me Do what's right you say you will, but then you don't You just don't You don't care, cause you don't take me seriously What's there to repair, if you don't wanna talk to me You should know, your time is up I'm Lucky mate, on for par? Without the bounce mate, we have gone off the green Winter game, eh? Go on then. Cheat. Cheat. 
fucking hell. Did you go straight? Because if you didn't, you're not going to find it. <laughs> this is how not to drink out of a glass. I don't think she realises how much she's missing. Miss, miss, miss. <laughs> miss, miss. <laughs> she keeps going on the outside. I don't know who taught you how to drink, but you're not very good at it. Good it's like a few in and one out. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Quench your thirst. Good morning, it's not often that we start the day in the bathroom and when we do, it only means one thing. We're gonna be talking about skincare. Now, I'm not gonna be going on about this for very long, but I just wanted to talk to you about a new product that I was very kindly gifted from Selfridges recently. I'm a big fan of QMS Serum and Creme de la Mer Le Mer. Um, these two products I've been using for, oh, it must have been about six months now. Le Mer I've been using probably for about three years. And uh, yeah, I've got no qualms with these. They do a great job. They keep my skin feeling hydrated, moisturized, and I don't have any irritation. But I was contacted by Selfridges who wanted to introduce me to Suku, who are a premium skincare brand that Selfridges obviously sell for. So I just wanted to talk about this product because I'm very fortunate in that I get sent lots of skincare products and uh, I get the chance to try them out. I was actually using the Violume range, which is this new range here, and uh, in particular this cream. It's got quite a floral scent to it, so it's slightly more traditionally feminine in its smell, but the actual product itself is incredible. Yeah, it just makes the skin feel really, really good. And in fact, what does it say on the website? Because I read it, because I was trying to find out what the kind of scent in the ingredients were, like whether it had rose or what sort of floral scents it had in it. I didn't actually find anything, but they said that the pursuit to unlock the most beautiful glow, Suku unveils the latest collection, Violume. Designed around instilling and circulating that glow that lasts well into the future, it's built as a three-step process that utilizes all five elements that are deeply intertwined within the skin. That's moisture, firmness, translucency, brightness, and smoothness. It says that this is whipped up from leaves of Japanese shell, ginger plant, and Alpenia specios leaf extract. It delivers a bucket load of hydration and glow and veil to the skin. And that to me sounds amazing. Um, but I'm really just here to let you know that this product is fantastic. And just so you know, because I know in the past I've been very guilty of applying lots of unnecessary skincare products. Obviously with a lot of these premium skincare brands you get one of these little tools. I literally put no more than that on my face and it completely does full coverage. Um, it's just been one of those products that I was really surprised and, and I found it felt great on the skin and I really like the smell of it. Like I said, it's quite floral. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly jump and talk to you about this because I feel like it's a new skincare brand that I hadn't heard of before. Lydia was familiar with the brand. I've been very, very impressed from their range. So yeah, I thought I'd jump on and uh, speak about them. Not sponsored in any way, just for clarity. Just thought um, I'd let you know. So yeah, it was very kindly gifted out from the team over at Selfridges. And I will leave a link down to this collection if you wanna go and check them out uh, in the description box below. But anyway, today we've got a very, very busy day on our hands. I'm gonna be shooting a campaign for Boss for Christmas and uh, the theme's kind of like tuxedo, festive. There's also a gift with purchase element to it as well. So um, yeah, gonna get busy doing that today and James will be with me today helping me shoot. So yeah, it's all go. So I'm gonna bring you along for the ride and hopefully capture a little bit of BTS. Also, we've just had all of the gravel trays arrive for the greenhouse area, all stacked up on the driveway. Absolutely crazy. Also, you're not gonna be able to see much here, but you can probably get a little bit of an insight into what the new porch looks like. So obviously we still need the grout in between the new coping stones. Also you might be able to see just over the far side, the flower beds, they need uh, retiling and finishing off and the floor as well. And then once this is all done, it will be jet washed and cleaned up, but progress is happening. 
So a little sneak peek at the office. As you can see, we've currently got a new screeded floor. Skirtings are off. Curtain poles are off. Ceiling is looking in immaculate condition. <laughs> very quick turnaround. So I'm looking forward to uh, sharing this project with you very, very soon. Hopefully just before my last vlog of the year, we'll have this all completed. And I may even be in this room busy working away. So yeah, fingers crossed. But so far, very impressed. The guys have been working. Uh, very hard on this room and they made it very tidy and clean working environment they shut the door lock themselves away just been cracking on with what they need to do so um it's just about to get fixed up put back together again and then lauren will come in and refurnish it all and uh, i'll have my gents office study just in time for christmas Right, just before I get started with my work, which I must do uh, today, I just wanted to quickly share with you some good news. It's some very good news, just for me though, not good news for anybody else. I know that I said I wasn't gonna get fixated on the rings on the Apple Watch, and I've not, but yesterday caught me off guard, I'm not gonna lie, because I don't feel like I had the most strenuous day, but I did go and play golf, walk around nine holes, and I did go for a morning run, which I think will help contribute to the success that I had in closing my rings yesterday for the very first time since I started. So um, yeah, I managed to do 994 calories yesterday. I was standing for 16 out of 12 hours, which is my target. I wasn't standing for 16 hours out of 12 hours because that's impossible. I was standing for 16 hours out of a 24 hour day, um, which meant that I closed that ring. And my exercise target's 30 minutes. I did 79 minutes of exercise yesterday. So first time, smashed it. I did 18,300 steps um, and I got my new record ring. So there you go, happy days. So now I've completed the rings, I may as well just give up and uh, move on to new things. But Lydia was telling me that it was impossible to close my rings because I just wasn't doing it. So proved they're wrong, didn't I? Right, so for today's campaign, we're gonna be shooting in the living room and we've decided that we're gonna use this area at the back of the room as our set. So the idea is, is to clear out the sofas, which we'd already done and then I realized I'm not vlogging. So I picked up my camera. Uh, we're gonna be basically dressing this console table in a festive way. It's not gonna be too perfect. It's gonna be a little bit like drapey and uh, I'm just gonna basically see what decorations we've got left over that aren't already on the trees and stuff. I'm gonna position myself somewhere within this environment and uh, we're gonna get busy shooting away. And then for the second photo of today, we're gonna spin the room around essentially and shoot into this wall where it's gonna be really minimal and plain and we're gonna get possibly Lydia's dad's old uh, trunk from boarding school. We're gonna fill it with decorations and have them spilling out of the trunk onto the floor. And then again, we're just gonna situate me next to the trunk and um, get busy shooting for another feed post for Instagram. So yeah, just thought I'd uh, give you a little update of what we're gonna be doing and uh, we're gonna get busy cracking on with it. And uh, I'll probably be able to show you um, at least some back of the camera images from today's shoot. Well, amongst the screed, we have an abundance of Christmas decorations from over the years. And the operation now is to basically go through these and decide what ones we want to include in the trunk, or I might even switch it up and make it a basket because I feel like this is more festive than a trunk. So we might use one or two of these baskets. I quite like the kind of more neutral tones, the browns, the blacks, the oranges are quite nice as well, and the gold, so I might go down that theme. Obviously red signifies uh, Christmas quite well as well. So I'm just gonna have a little play around, I think, in the lounge. I really love the cinnamon sticks in rope. I think they're nice. I was just saying to James then, it's a fine balance between creating a Christmas feel but not overloading it, that it gets too busy. So we're just gonna go through this stuff now, basically, and uh, experiment as best we can with um, trying to get a festive feel to the shot. Is that your favorite little brush? Lauren has said that your office will be finished by the end of next week. Oh, 
Got our Christmas prop that's flowing out of shot and um, so it'll be framed kind of off to here like this and then I'm going to be sitting on the floor in the tux and uh, we're going to put the boss fragrances around me just to get the product in and finish off the shot. Obviously I'm not going to leave my drink on the side but we're going to get me into a tux now and uh, yeah get ready to to shoot. As you can see, I've just switched it up into the tux for today's shoot. Looking very festive. I've got a Hugo Boss suit shirt and cufflink situation going on here today. I really like this shirt actually because it's kind of got that dinner jacket style uh, pattern on it and uh, these little black buttons which just give it a nice little bit of detailing but uh, the set as I've just shown you is nearly set up. Situated the six fragrances amongst the decorations and then we are just going to finish off the set by lighting the candle and there we have it. We are ready to rock and roll so I'm going to check in with you guys after we finish today's shoot and let you know how we got on. Would you like a hot chocolate? Are you vlogging? Yes. No? Have you been vlogging all day? Yeah. Oh. Um, Why? Just wondering, I didn't know you've been vlogging all day. Yeah. No, I'm okay. okay. I'll have some cold water though. Okay. Well, my camera is flashing red, so we're gonna die any moment. But I did notice, because I was just upstairs looking at the footage as I was loading on today, I've got a bruise on my neck here. And um, I haven't actually told you, but not funny, but kind of funny. Yesterday, I fell downstairs, and um, I think that that could have happened then, because I can't think Maybe like as my head went like that, it like hit like, I don't know what I'm calling it. I don't know, but yeah, I had a little, I had a little fall. A little fall? My gosh, yeah. it sounded like an elephant fell down the stairs. I fell down half the stairs. I literally skied each step. It was quite impressive, really. I didn't Wait, tumble, I just went <laughs> like this I, I in the some socks. the impressive thing is that you fall either up or down the stairs at least once a week. <laughs> I do. It's just it's so ridiculous. bad. Apparently it's good luck to fall up the stairs, so what can I say? I'm sure somebody said it's good luck to fall It's like a superstition or something. No, it's... Is it true? Is it good luck or bad luck to fall upstairs? In my family, it was that your stupidity defied gravity because <laughs> you fell up the stairs. Yeah, true. But anyway, it happens a lot and um, yeah, so I noticed that little bruise just there on my neck, which was quite a surprise. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to sit down on the sofa with my iPad and I'm just going to finish up editing the shots from today So I'll quickly flip the camera around and quickly give you a little look at what we shot. Sorry about that My camera died, so I've just gone up to get a new battery But I've just finished off chucking an edit on these images and so yeah, this is a couple of the images from today's shoot a couple of the product shots for stories uh, some of the fragrances that are included in promotion that I'm working on. The, this down here as well, you'll see there's some pictures of me, which will be on my feed very, very soon. Oh yeah? Looking over your mess with pride? Oh yes. We're so worried about the puppy ruining our house. Couldn't possibly be that this one's already ruined everything. <laughs> Look how happy she is. She's like, I broke it, mummy, but I will sit here in its place and I am far better looking than your lovely artifact flowers pot. She's literally flicked it out of the way and sat in the location. Yeah. She's like, I want to sit there. You wanted the stool, didn't you? All right. Where are we going to get another pot for this? Oh, I don't know. I literally love this in here. Watch your feet, babe. It's a good clean up. Completely ruined. Oh my god, I've just uh So since Lumi was diagnosed with pancreatitis, we have not been giving her any treats and I thought I'm gonna give her a tiny little bit of a liquor sticks because she literally hasn't had one in so long and she's been a very good girl recently. She smashed Mummy's vase, which made me very happy. So I thought I'm gonna give her a little treat. And um, I've absolutely coated the hallway 
in liquor sticks, which literally smells like bad breath, doesn't it, Lumi? And she's probably buzzing because it's everywhere. Oh my God. Good morning. New in from Lacoste. I've just received a new hoodie, which is insanely comfortable. It's got like a four way stretch in it, which means that it's a very comfortable hood. Half zip with this kind of like windbreaker uh, piece in the middle. You stay protected from the elements. It's also got some uh, drawstring uh, points around the hood and also the waistline. A nice little jumper for the Christmas season. And uh, talking of Christmas seasons, I came up to my office this morning and Lydia's dropped off a Candy Kittens advent calendar. Now, she was sent this and she knows how much I love sweets. So I think that she has very kindly given me the Christmas tree advent calendar by the looks of it. Looks like you build a calendar and it looks like there's numbers on there. So I'm assuming it's a Christmas tree advent calendar. And uh, so I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna eat the contents all in one go. <laughs> because there's no way I'm having one sweet a day. Also, speaking of my office, a delivery has just arrived with all of the, I think it said on the package, distressed oak floor. So we're actually going for a real wood floor this time um, in the room. And yeah, we've just had the delivery of it all. So um, it looks like tomorrow the fit is gonna come in and start working on that. And then as far as I understand it, the decorator then follows and then I guess it'll be furnishing. So it does look like there's a good chance that next week, we might have the office, which makes me very excited because I'm gonna have loads of space in this room because all of this will be gone. I don't really know um, what I'm gonna do with it all. So I'm gonna have a big empty hole in my room. Might have to uh, jig some things around and kind of make it a bit more of a social space until we eventually hit this project as well. Um, but like I said previously, 2021. So there's sour watermelon, wild strawberry, tropical mango, and blueberry blitz. Ooh, ooh, naughty. Ooh. Guys, his hours are fun. Do you know what? If there was ever temptation to eat sweets, it would be loading the sweets that you're gonna eat into a packet and trying to resist the temptation of actually demolishing them whilst you're doing it. I think the challenge really is, can you build your advent calendar without eating all the content? I don't know if it's possible. I do not know if it's possible. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, so there you go, that is how to butcher a Candy Kittens advent calendar. Well and truly butchered, but we're in. And the guys had fought ahead. They had actually given more than 25 sweets, which means that you can snack and build at the same time. So very impressed. So I've actually had probably about eight sweets and I've not touched, all of those boxes are full, which is good times. Thank you indirectly for sweetening up my run up to Christmas, Candy Kittens, much appreciated. Probably be gone in about three or four days, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon I'll do about a quarter a day. So four days, that'll all be done. <laughs> Just finished off having a little spot of lunch and I had a little look out the window over the area where the guys are working on the greenhouse. And I cannot believe how much progress has been made over the last couple of days. It's really coming on leaps and bounds. And if you do want to check out the renovations of the house at the moment, we've got lots going on. Obviously, as you know about the office study, uh, the porch at the front of the house, the walls at the front of the house, uh, the greenhouse area. Um, there's so much going on. Lydia is documenting all of this over on her channel for Vlogmas. So make sure you head over and see all of the progress that's being made because it's all starting to come together now. And uh, yeah, it's really exciting to see it happening. And I have a feeling that there's a very good possibility that we might have the majority, if not all of it, wrapped up for Christmas, which it doesn't particularly matter whether it is or isn't because it's not like we're time sensitive and we need to have it done for Christmas, but of course, it's just lovely to kind of like have a, a clean slate as you go into the new year and uh, some fresh projects to get our heads into and just like tidy up and finish these ones off at the end of this year. So yeah, fingers crossed all goes to plan and uh, we managed to get everything done. What else was I going to say? Um, yeah, Lids and I are just about to get busy filming a reel and I need to be fully focused so I can help her 
uh, perform those as well as edit this video which is going to be going up tonight uh, so I'm going to quickly edit all this up export upload and get this ready for this evening's vlog so um, yeah I better get cracking because it's currently quarter past one we don't have much light these days either I've probably got about two and a half hours left so I need to get busy with that and I feel like there was something else that I wanted to say before we signed off. Ah, that was it. Next week um, in my video, we are planning on going shopping in London, uh, Lids and I, just to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Uh, it's going to be the first time that we've headed into London for, for as long as I can remember. So it should be quite nice. It might be quite strange. I don't know if much has changed in London uh, on the shopping scene. I've heard some quite sad stories actually about some shops that are sort of on their knees at the moment because of everything that's been going on. So probably gonna head in at some stage next week and get busy with that. So make sure you stay tuned because uh, next week's video is gonna be a very good one. Um, well, I hope so anyway, because we're gonna be out of the house. We it feels like uh, we've been vlogging so much at home. I'm probably gonna be rubbish at vlogging out and about in London because um, I've not done it in so long, but I'll do my best and uh, bring you guys along for the ride. So anyway, I'm gonna sign this one off. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Peace. Thought you knew me so much better.